What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. Today's video I'm gonna discuss how I personally make money with the reef tank hobby. Now, there are four different things that I like to do on a weekly basis that kind of bring in the funds that allows me to sustain the hobby within itself. Uh, the first one would be one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations with people uh, via, via like Skype, on the phone, or I come to your house and help you set up your reef tank or help you, you know, manage certain things that might be going on. So that's one way. The second thing, would be the uh, DIY filter socks. Those seem to be selling pretty good lately. Uh, the third thing are the DIY Apex breakout box. I sell it for like half the price that you can buy the Neptune one, so why not, right? And then the third thing, or sorry, the fourth thing that seems to be bringing in the most money is cor coral frags. Now, I just don't go frag my whole tank or frag whatever I want to frag. It doesn't work like that. Basically, in order, me, order for me to frag a portion of the tank, there has to be a reason. Now we're looking at this left structure here that has the three SPS, uh, the pink bird's nest, the green bird's nest, and the cat's paw. Now those are the three that I'm focusing on. Now what happens over a period of time, uh, corals are gonna fight for space. Now uh, doing so, they chemically burn each other, shade each other out, that's just how nature is. Now what I do is I stop that from happening. I go in there with a pair of bone cutters, I will cut the the uh, green bird's nest and I will cut the cat's paw allowing them to continue to grow out but not into each other. Um, then I just go ahead and frag those frags up, give them about a week to get color back, to heal up and then I'll sell that from there. And, that, and then uh, the other coral of course is the pink bird's nest that seems to get shaded out from the green. I just go ahead and cut off the shaded pieces of the, basically the part of the coral the colony that's not as bright because it's not getting as much light. Go ahead and pull those out frag them and again wait a week or two let the color come back and then sell those frags out for ten to twenty dollars a piece very 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 easy now in the back part of this rock structure I have a red Montipora and a green Montipora which have grown out they're plating they're just like the center colonies now I specifically put them there because I wanted to make money on that that coral that's a very hot coral people really like it especially when they see it in this tank here they really like um, how it grows together so people want that so instead of fragging the giant colony that I have in the middle, I just go ahead and take off the pieces on the back. It's the same coral. It's easy, easy stuff, and it grows fast. So um, I'll go ahead and give you a picture here in a few seconds of that actual colony, and you'll see where I've been breaking it off. Now, again, all the corals are like between $10 and $20 a piece. I ship them out to people who so choose to pay for the shipping. Um, I really don't volunteer out to just send corals you know, halfway across the country unless somebody really wants them or wants to pay for the shipping. Um, I don't do any guarantees on that stuff because, you know, I can't control um, the shipper if they if they decide to wait an extra day or two to, uh, you know, get you your coral box. Unfortunately, even if you pay for overnight, uh, you know, it doesn't always happen. So I hate seeing coral get killed during shipping. So I try to avoid it. But if somebody really wants it, I'm not going to say no. All right. Anyways, guys, those are the ways that I personally make money in the hobby. It allows me to sustain the hobby, allows me to save up for things like uh, the Apex modules for the dimming, uh, you know, new power bar, new skimmer, pretty much, you know, whatever I want to get, it allows me to save up for. Uh, it, you know, instead of having to pull money out of my own account to, you know, buy GFO, buy carbon, I just go ahead and sell a couple frags and go purchase that stuff. It's, it's that simple. There's no better way of doing it personally, and it just seems to work out best for me. Anyways, guys, I hope that answered any questions on how I get the things that I get and how I make money in this hobby. I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.